All right, what's up guys? And welcome to a remote province in the Philippines or a town called Sagada. Just yeah. met this guy right here. Hello. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine too. All right. Yeah. Are you from Sagada? Do you live here? Yeah. So where is residential lodge? Uh, over there. Over here? Yeah, right, All right. there. Yeah, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one? Mm -hmm. This okay. one? Here. There. I'm confused. Mm. Where? There. Go to Sagada as well. Yes, I'm going to the house. Sagada go to guest Sagada. house and cafe. Good one. No, the map told me to go this way. Huh? The map told me to go this way. Hey, Alright guys, just take a look around this place right here. So this is where the bus dropped me off. I'm freaking tired since 4 a.m. this morning. I've been traveling. Yeah. And I just arrived in Sagada right now. My friend Ita is here. But I'm just gonna ask the other guys. I'm just gonna ask the other guys there. And this is Sagada guys. Finally in Sagada. Hello, my friend. How are you? Uh, I'm looking for a residential lodge. Uh, down here. Down we, here? Uh, All right. 100 meters. Uh, no, 100 meters. 100 meters. Yeah. All right, thank you. Because he was telling me to go there. Oh, no, no. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's my first time in Sagada. How are you guys? Fine. Nice meeting you, people of Sagada. So, where are you from? I'm from Liberia, West Africa. What are things that I could do here in Sagada? What are some things I could do here while I'm here in Sagada? What what are things I could do? Maybe you you're here to find a treasure or treasure? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is there a treasure here to find? Alright. All right, all right, you, yeah. you should take me so I go find the treasure, okay? Yeah, yeah. Just try to Yeah, yeah, still find the road. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm freaking tired. My lips are dry up because I had no sleep last night. So the crazy story is that I I left from Banawe, I went to Baguio. I had to sleep in Baguio on Thursday night and then I uh no Friday night and then I went to Pampanga Saturday early morning for a meeting. Sorry. And I had to travel back to Baguio last night, but I missed all of the buses. So I had to sleep in Baguio and wait for Hello, my friend. Hello. Hi. Where's Residential Lodge? Down. Down here? All right, thank you. So I had to... There are also a lot of friendly people here in Sagada. So I just came here. Later, we're going to explore. But first thing, I need to take a shower. Okay, back to the story. So I had to, you know, sleep in Baguio City. I went to a cafe and I was editing some videos. I was seated there till 4 a.m. I went to the bus terminal and got a bus here to Sagada. We just got here, it's uh, almost 1 p.m. So it was about almost six to seven hours drive, guys, coming here to Sagada, it's so far. And when we got here to Sagada, I realized that Sagada was just close to Banawe and I was just in Banawe, but I had to go to Baguio. So it's freaking crazy, man. Yeah, I remember a place like this here because my friend was here, John and he took some photos oh oh is the same Igoro people here Igoro welcome to dental oh, I just need to ask again hello my friend hello my friend how are you yes oh where is residential lodge follow the road going down on the left side thank you so I'm going to residential lodge and I'm going to take a shower and yeah, welcome to Sagada. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are new here, I'm Success and I do travel videos around the Philippines and if this is the first time here on the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button and keep supporting your boy and let's travel together so I will take you places that you cannot go and yeah, I make you feel like you are traveling with me because I bring my contents to you in a raw vlog like I'm bringing raw vlogs to you. I mean, just smash that subscribe button, man. Love you guys. And let's get ready to explore Sagada together. Yay! Welcome to the vlog. All right, guys. So I'm trying to find the residential lodge right here. But 
um just take a look at this place right here so look at the houses here i mean this is kind of like a very old town because the houses here are not that native yeah the houses don't really look native but i'll ask someone hello how are you sorry i'm looking for residential lodge residential lodge um down the road sir down thank you thank you all right one more one more minute to walk my map told me that my location or my destination is on the right so let's do a little bit of pov for you guys so you see around here in sagara so just check out the houses here this is kind of like a cafe or where you could take a dinner or restaurant and you have shops here shop shops here place looks really quiet <laughs> Uh, just the sound of the cars yeah so it is a bit different from Banawe but you know later we're gonna tour around more to show you guys more but it's just Good thing they, they say who this here because they say they really get all oh, residential lodge in here. I think it should be here. Um, it should be in here. Oh, I, I'm just walking in. Hello. Hi. Hello. Um, is this residential lodge? Yeah. Um, my friend is staying here. Ita, mm -hmm. the Israeli. Where is he? I don't know if he's here or he went out. Let's check on her on his room. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I just got a uh, this accommodation. I was checking online residential lodge. Um, let's go check Ita if he's home or he went to explore. I'm not sure he'll be home because he's not always staying home. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you already know how we do it. So your boss success, right? It's fresh right now. I just took a shower. Wow, I was really uncom uncomfortable on the bus there from Baguio to Sagada. It was a very long drive, guys, because I left Papanga last night. And when I got to Baguio, 9 p.m., 10 p.m., there was no more bus and... I was unable to leave back here so i had to go to a cafe edit some videos till 3 a.m i started packing my things 4 a.m i was 4 a.m i was at the terminal and got the bus we started traveling 5 30 and now we are here so first thing when i got here is that i wanted to take shower and i just got here to residential lodge at where we are staying and i took shower and the policy of filipinos is that whenever you travel to a new place in the philippines as a new tourist in that place you need to go and register so you need to register your name and pay some fees like 50 100 or 150 pesos at most sometimes it could be up to 200 pesos depending on where you are so right now i need to head up there because i was to do that first but i mean i was busy finding the the hostel right here so i was to do that first i needed to go and register so right now i'm going there to register but while going there to register i'm going to be exploring the place around and showing you around but we are here at residential lodge and i just want to show you this view from the back side of the terrace right here so just take a look at this view right here so this is the back side of the terrace right here okay so check out the view check out those houses oh my god Wow, it's so beautiful from here. And so this is a little town right here. It's not that modern compared to places in Manila. It's not that developed, but it has a huge history. This town has a huge history. This place called Sagada. And later we're going to be diving into them. And uh, something I want to show you guys later is uh, something here. They have the hanging covens. So later I'm going to be uh, showing you them. Peter on the vlog here, he said he's tired. He's sleepy because he went on the hike this morning or to catch the sunset so he's resting a little bit but while he's resting i'm gonna do my regist my registration there at the 
tourism council and then i'll be back but while going i'll exp i'll explore this place and show you guys a little bit of around here and talk to you guys too about sagada and why this place is so famous to tourists because because i just realized that a lot of tourists a lot of people here make their living by tourism meaning like you need to have a hostel or you know stay in or just anything like accommodation i saw another accommodation right here i saw one right here and there are just a lot of them on this way right here when i was coming down so that means that people here their main one of their main source of income is from tourism and that's why we're going to pay some money to the local government here so let's go all right ladies and gentlemen so as you can see one thing that people show here a lot is hoodie so there are a lot of hoodie right here and also this cool hat right here because this place is freaking cold right now i came out so i'm wearing my shirt but i have my jeans jacket in my hands just in case i feel cold so you see this is some here it's freaking cold here but luckily for me the sun just started shining and it's a little bit hot yeah, but I, I'm, I'm having my jacket just in case because sometimes these places get dramatic. It will just get hot a little bit because see the weather is dark on the other side. I need to walk up here to go and do the registration. So POV a little bit to show you around here while I'm walking here. I think I show you here already. Hello, man. Hi. Hello, my friend. How are you? <laughs> How are you, Pangasina? So just walking here. This road is a freaking busy road. So that's where we are staying, the blue one right here. This blue house right here is where we are staying at. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm just walking up here now to go and do the registration, but let's talk about Sagada a little bit. So Sagada is considered a mountain province so whenever you tap in sagada you see sagada sagada mountain province so basically this place is continuous and most part of sagada is said to be full of mountains but it also have a great history because uh, i was just reading hello hi I was just reading about the place, about this uh, location right here, Sagada, and I I just read that there are there is a place here, a cave, where you see coffins hanging for centuries. They, they have been hanging for centuries, and you can go and check it out. There, it's still there, still hanging there. Ita told me that he went to a cave. He saw he saw them. He will take me there later, and I really want to see like coffins hanging for centuries there and i want to know why why do they keep them that long instead of burying them like putting them under the ground so later we're also going to be checking out that but first thing let's go do the registration and ladies and gentlemen this place is freaking cold it gets really really cold here than baguio the cold here cannot even be compared to baguio guys ask around here first a little bit Koya hello um can you help me i'm trying to find the uh, the tourism a place i need to pay yeah already started this one yes before me yeah you can just go inside and there's a tourism office all right thank you so i just talked to the locals right there to show me the tourism office Seems friendly. Oh, this is a public market. So I got a public market. Oh, yeah, there's an ATM here. That's cool. Hello. Hello. How are you? Is it the tourism office of Sagada? Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm I'm a new tourist in here, so my friend told me that I need I need to write my name somewhere here. What? I'm a new tourist here in yeah. Sagada. My friend said I need to write my name somewhere to register myself. Yeah. 
How? So how, how is it done? You don't have accommodations? I have a accommodation. Did you register? Online registration. Online registration? Yes. Okay. So you can register here. Online registration. Online registration. Okay. Is there, is there other things I need to do? Yes, then uh, you pay 100 per head. 100? Per head. What, what, so what, what, what's the 100 for? That's the environmental fee. Okay, the environmental fees is 100 pesos, right? Yeah. So, all right, guys, if you're coming here to Sagada, the environmental fees here is 100 pesos, and you need to register on this site online. Can I show it? Yeah. What's the site there? Umali, Umali Kayo, Umali Kayo .ph. So you need to register on that site and pay 100 pesos here at the office. So uh, what about the tours? Like, are the tours restricted here? How how do you do the tours? Like, going to places, sightseeing, and other things. Yeah, uh, these are the parking days, and there are prices also. Oh, if you want to do the good connection. For three packs. Three packs in 1,900 pesos. Yeah. That's included for uh, the car. Okay. Is oh. it compulsory to do all of these stores here, or you can just yes. walk by yourself? No, yeah, but you have to get a guide. How much do you get a tour guide for if you just want to get it a tour depends. guide? In Somagin, for five packs, it's uh, 1,200. Five person, yeah. tour guy is 1,200. For connection is uh, this one. 1,000. Three packs is 1,900. For the tour guy, I'm, I'm asking like if you just want to have a tour guy. Yeah. You don't want to book a tour here, but you just want to have someone who's going to tour you around. Oh, you have to book your tour. You, you have to book your tour. Yeah. So before you go anywhere here or you, before you do anything here, you need to book right here. Yeah. Without booking here, you can't do anything in Sagada. Yes. Okay. From where are you? Sorry? From where are you? I'm from Liberia, West Africa. Oh. All right, thank you. So I will just do the registration first. I need to use my phone, right, to scan the QR code. Yeah. All right, see you guys later. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's raining outside right now. So I'm done with the registration okay. and we are about to go on the tour of the hanging yeah, coffin. Hang yeah, hanging coffin, right? Yes. Sir. So how far is it from here? So like, it's a more, more or less one, one hour. Walking, one hour. Back and forth. Back and forth. Yes. So 30 minutes to go, 30 minutes to come back. Something like that. So from the town, from the town proper here to the hanging coffin is about one hour back and forth. So we are about to go there, but it's a bit rainy right now. And we're just gonna time the rain a little bit. So I have a friend right here from- Barcelona. Barcelona, Spain. Yeah. Your name is Daniel. Nice to meet you, guys. Nice to meet you, bro. And welcome to the vlog, man. <laughs> All right, so let's go. What's your name again? Perry. And you? Sorry? Perry, Perry. Perry. P -R -R -Y. Perry, oh, Perry. Yes. Yeah, and who? success. You. Success. Nice meeting. Nice meeting you, bro. Um, now that we're going to the hanging uh, coffin, I hope you're gonna tell us some history about it. Yes. Of All right. Yes, yes, yes. Is it the one that have been there for uh, more than a century? It's actually it's five hundred five hundred years ago. Five hundred years ago. Oh, okay. So this building, this is uh, the Saint Mary's the Virgin. This building so, here. Yeah. yeah. This was uh, the, the church was been introduced by the American missionaries. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is Anglican. It's Anglican. It's, yes. Okay. It's under Episcopalian Church. It's now a Catholic Church. It's not. But it's although, not very common to be Anglican. Actually, yeah, yeah <laughs> like Anglican a... and Catholic, it's uh, the same before. All right. But this this was this story. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. In Europe, uh, under. Henry the Eighth. All right. Yeah. He want to annul his uh, marriage from his uh, wife Catherine. All right. But the Pope that time of uh, the Catholic uh, Pope doesn't want to grant the annul annulment of his uh, marriage. All right. 
So what did the Henry the King did is he split it with the, the Catholic All right. and make a small group and then uh, name this uh, group Anglican. Yes, if that's the, that's the story. So for, that's, that's, that's the story of yeah, this church yeah, and that's yeah. the origin of this church. Yeah, yes, yes. And then but they started... They were, they were actually so uh, the yeah. basically they broke out from Catholic people yes, because yes. of that. Yes, that's, that's yeah, I, I, I heard the story of that before according to, you know, how he wanted to, you know, carry on the process, but it was not possible at the time because he was not allowed in the church, in the Catholic church. And he, because he had power and influence, so he started his own <laughs> stuff, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, so this is it right here. Yeah. Most likely like... like so this is uh, the church of uh, Saganda. Uh, the St. Mary's uh, the Virgin, as I told you, it was introduced by the Americans. It is uh, Father Staunton. Uh, so this was yeah. after the Spanish, right? It uh, was American. It was, yes, yes, it was the Americans. Actually, before the American came here, it was uh, the Spanish who came in Sagada mm -hmm. and tried to pacify the people of Sagada. But the people of Sagada, or our ancestor, fought against the Spaniard, mm -hmm. because uh, the Spaniard want to change everything, yeah. our culture and tradition, and even our name. I know. That's the reason why the the, the fight the fought against the uh, the Spanish. It was actually the American who Christianized the people of Segada. The thing is, uh, they accepted the 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 Americans because they also adapted our culture and tradition and they mix it with Christianity yeah oh yeah. okay yeah. so instead instead of getting rid of your culture and yes. tradition and changing your name they just accept it and and mix it actually oh, okay. uh, today we do both we do the traditional way at the same time with the Christian uh, Christian way mm -hmm. okay yes. uh, what you call that the native uh, the religion of the people of Sagada. Mm -hmm. So what's the native re or religion of the people uh, of Sagada? In, in, uh, in uh, English, we call it animism. These are the people who believe in nature. In nature? Animism. Oh. Animism. Oh, okay. yeah. Interesting. Yes. Yeah. That's our relig religion before American introduced okay. the Christianity. In uh, all right. So right now in, in the church right here, I'm seeing names here. I'm seeing Kapya. Uh, but uh, Talna, Talna means uh, Talna Kapia is more, more almost the same. It, it uh, peace. 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 Yeah, yes, peace. Yes. is the Spanish yes, for, yeah, yes, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. for peace. Kapia oh, okay. is uh, the native uh, uh, language uh, we speak in Sagada. Mm. Uh, it's amazing to know. Uh, uh, Daniel here have a little bit of idea, but I'm lost because <laughs> I'm from Africa. You know, quite we different and. You know, so I think I'm learning a lot. Like I'm, I'm really mm -hmm. learning a lot. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's the church, guys. And this is this the only church in Sagada? Uh, first, this is the first uh, uh, Christian uh, uh, what you call uh, church. But the, we have also the new uh, church from uh, the Catholic in the other side. Okay. But okay. this is uh, this is the oldest church. The Anglicanism in is the first. Uh, religious formation that has been introduced in Sagada. All right, mm -hmm. all right, all right. Okay. It was just uh, res recently, the, the Catholic. Uh -huh. So you, we can see a picture, which is, uh, you can see a very old uh, building. This is the yeah. first uh, building of uh, the first church, mm -hmm. but uh, this was been uh, replaced. So the, after the war, they built this uh, stone uh, church okay. because it was been damaged. Oh. Uh, during the World War II, I think. Okay. Yes, yes. All right. Yeah. All right. Only the old. All right, guys. So that was a little bit of history here um, of the first church or the oldest church here in Sagada. And we are just leaving the church right now to to the, how do you call that, the Echo Valley? Echo Valley. So why is it called the Echo Valley? Uh, can I go that way? Yeah. It's a valley for you if you shout. Your if voice. you if you shout so you you hear like uh, the, oh, echo the echo in your voice. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why you call it the echo the valley. Echo valley. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs>
That's interesting. So when we get there, I can shout, right? I uh, know. <laughs> no? Uh, sorry, because uh, this is uh, a holy ground. Yeah. 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 So, uh, but I'm also, I'm also, also holy. It's a oh, burial. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's to honor to yeah, honor yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, the the dead. Yes. Yes. Okay. But we have uh, so so since it's a it's, it's a holy site and you're trying to honor the dead. How how did you discover that when you shout your voice like uh, reverse? It was a long time ago. Long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So how do you prove that to us then? Uh, <laughs> how do you prove that to us? No, even you don't uh, shout actually. You can see. We, you can uh, hear our voice where we are talking, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, in the daytime, yeah. like, do you have a lot of tourists coming here? Uh, weekends, actually. Oh, weekends. So, usually, usually, what's the most, like... Um, the local people. The local, the local people? Tourists, yeah. No, uh, I mean, what's the highest number of people that have come here in a day? Like, in one daytime? Well, uh, Just estimate, I, I know you can't be exact. Like uh, 300? 300, 200 tourists yes, yes. in one day. To, oh, we need to show. Oh, where did I keep my. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> this one? Yes, so it's 10 pesos? Uh, 20. 20 pesos for both of us. No, no, no. It's uh, 100 per head. 100 per head. 10 pesos 10 per pesos head, I should say. Ten pesos per head. Yes, yes. All right. So we from here. So uh, sorry, uh, we're gonna pay ten pesos here, right? Ten pesos no, no, no. for the access key, sir. This is going to the church. Church. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. This is for your receipt. Receipt for the ten pesos. Yeah. All right. I keep it here. Do I need to show this to someone later? No. Uh, no. It's your souvenir. <laughs> souvenir. Okay. I will just find you ten pesos first. Yeah. Tanya, can you? <laughs> That's how I do to my friends. Go for your 10 pesos. <laughs> oh, luckily for me, I just had 10 pesos waiting in my back here. Yeah. There you yeah. go. That yeah. was quick. Yeah. Okay, enjoy in the safe. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. You're welcome. The St. Mary's uh, Cemetery. Right. So this is uh, actually under this the, church. The church right? So this uh, uh, cemetery started when they when uh, they established the the church around uh, 1909. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Wow. Yes, yes. So this is also at the same time it's a public cemetery of the people of Sagada. When we say public, uh, the lot is uh, free for everybody. Mm -hmm. Comparing cemeteries in the lowland that you have to pay the lot, otherwise they will uh, remove. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes. All right, guys. So we just got here at the cemetery, and we are about to enter the cemetery. So, do we need to pass through the cemetery to go to the Echo Valley, yes. or is it a part of the Echo Valley? Yes. So here is a cemetery here in Sagada. It's a, um, it's a kind of communal cemetery, even uh, tourists, because there are so, already places that. Tourists died in Sagada, oh. and they were not able to claim by the relative. So, so we just uh, buried them here. So what? Why is the cemetery also a uh, tourist attraction here? What's so much about the dead to the people of Sagada? Well, uh, uh, because we we always pass this uh, cemetery, going to the hanging coffins. Yeah, because when you talk about coffins or coffins, hanging coffins in cemetery, they have something in common, right? Instead of burying, you hang the coffins, right? Yeah. What's so much about the dead that you guys are keeping like the coffins hanging for a longer time? Is there something special? Is there a history? Actually, I told you, you know, before Christianity came, yeah, our ancestors first. Uh, 
as I told you, the first, uh, what you call it, the first uh, uh, symmetry of our, our people is, is either the caves or the hanging coffins. That's yeah. in traditional way. Oh, yes, so instead yes. of having this, you still want to remember. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, now yes, I, yes. I get it. I get it. Because when I read yes. that you have a hanging coffin for centuries, I was like, why? So, uh, why are you guys 500 keeping? 500 years. Yes. 500 yes. years. Yes, but yes. It, actually, when I read online, it says centuries. Like, yes. it's been there for centuries. Yes. Anyway, let's, let's, let's go there. But I, I, I get the point now. I get it. So the, it's kind of like the people of Bata, the same thing. They are still practicing some tradition that we dress up, you know, we actually dress up like the the, the native people uh, of Ifugao. So yeah, it's good, man. You know, in Africa, we do the same. Like there are people who still practice uh, things that our forefathers did. They are trying to to preserve the- If you notice- uh, They keep coming, right? Uh, you, if you notice, right? every tomb there is uh, like a fire mm -hmm. because uh, the, the christian cemetery uh the relatives uh, visit still visit the cemetery once a year a light a fire uh, yeah like uh, normally they came here november 1st mm -hmm. uh, this is i think all souls day or all saints day yeah all yeah, saints day. 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 day yeah yeah, yeah. so afternoon like three o'clock in uh, in the afternoon yeah uh the family the relatives used to come here uh oh. and uh, instead of putting candle uh, they make fire so yeah. what so what's the meaning of this it's, fire uh, just, different from the candles uh, it's just uh, to warm the spirit of the ah, oh, okay it's, to warm the yes, spirit yes, yes, yes. all right yeah i i yes. see a, a lot like a lot of wolves yeah, yeah. there and someone burn a cross there yes yes so mostly the people of Sagada, although uh, although they are staying. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, thank you. In I hope you enjoy your tour there. Yeah. Although they are living all right in the lowland, if I say lowland in Baguio, Manila, yeah, or even uh, other uh, country, if they die, all right, they they prefer to be buried in Sagada. Mm -hmm. So during November first, also All Saints Day. Yeah. Yes, yes. The the family who are staying uh, far places uh, okay. actually go home. Yeah, it's during like November first. Uh, okay. Yes. To attend this uh, ceremony. Oh. Yes, yes. And at the, at the same time, it's like a short uh, reunion for the family. For the family. Yeah. From the family. Yeah. yeah. But they do not do the party in the cemetery. Comparing like Chinese uh, practice that they do celebration in uh, in the cemetery, but in Sagada, they just come here for the and fire let, and let the fire. And, yeah. yeah, I just took notice of yes. so many woods here, like they are burning woods here instead of candles. Yes. In, because in Manila, I went with some friends before to the cemetery during mm -hmm. uh, November first. Yes. They have candles and flowers, but here is more of wood. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Although they also put the uh, candle, but uh, normally they, they make fire. All right. Yeah, before putting candles. But they get together, they light the fire, and that's all they do, right? Yes. No more, no food, no, no food. any kind of celebration. As uh. I told you, they do the party or celebration in the house. They just do the... Just in the house? Yes, yes. But here, just Not a here. fire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just okay. a fire. Just let me know if I'm taking the right way. <laughs> yes, okay. The holes already. Sorry, so can, like can, sorry can, can, you, for, can you can you repeat that? Why there are empty space? Uh, as I told you, if in the in 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 the couple, yeah. If uh, let us say, one day, like it's either the the wife or the husband, yeah, die first, yeah, automatic mm. automatically they will uh, Leave make one, two one space, two therefore. space. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this is reservation for. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's either the husband or the wife who's still living, uh, 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 who's still alive. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, I mean, I'm I'm so surprised by this. So he's trying to say that if you have your partner, your wife, 
or your husband and one person died before their friend they actually built two tombs and and you're gonna reserve one for your wife so the day your wife died they're gonna bury her just beside you in the in like the reserve one wow so what if what if you marry to your wife or your husband and you die right mm -hmm. because i think after death the what the, the the next partner have the right to get married to another person if they want to right so if that person got married to another person then what happened next or in sagara you don't do that uh no we don't so if you marry now and you are young as young as i am uh -huh. well I, it's I, a, I it's a different story if you're still uh, young that's why if uh like let, let, let's say i married but i die young yeah well it's only one uh, one hole. Oh, oh okay. There, 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 is there an age just limit? Case, just in case. Yeah. Is there an age limit? Like, how many years do you need to be to die before you have uh, another, like, uh, tomb? Uh, uh, I, it depends. It depends? For me. <laughs> yeah, because if if, if, oh, if my girlfriend is young or my wife is young and, and I die, then, uh, she has the right uh, to get married if she wants to. Uh, sorry, but... First, uh, when someone die, well, they have to speak first with the like uh, the wife. Or are we going to make two holes for uh, for you if if you die? Oh, okay. Yeah. So what they are alive is yeah, agreement, yes, yes. right? Yes, yes. Oh, they yeah, agree yeah. upon it. It's, yeah, it's yeah. like a confident, like <laughs> they go into a confident. So I, I get it. I get it. It's, it's an agreement actually. So the wife and the husband actually agrees that. If one person die, instead of the other person getting married or living their life happily with another person, they should have another like tomb near the grave, so that as soon as you die, you just get buried right beside your partner. Okay. But I, I think in Sagara, it really doesn't uh, necessary to marry again. Okay. You, it's either your wife or your husband. Yeah, and, uh, all right you have your thing to say this place once underwater million years ago million, million of years ago yeah mil, they said million years ago okay and the reason why they're on the top is uh, because of uh, the continuous uh, movement of the earth like oh, okay. tsunami uh, earthquake, earthquake yeah. volcanic eruption this says that during this reaction yeah. Uh, the lighter stones goes okay. up while the heavier goes down. Mm -hmm. oh. So that's the reason it rises up. All right, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. So he was talking about the stone right there, the limestone. So he said um, this place used to be like millions of years ago. This used to be like on underground, not underground, but underwater. And the reason you can actually see the limestones now like this is because of the movement of the earth. So every time the earth moves and there's an earthquake or there's a tsunami, so the the position of the lighter stones changes and come up, they come to surface. That's why we are seeing them. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Like this, like these ones now, right? You can see it. Okay. All right. Wow. If I didn't come here for you to explain these things to me, I would never have any idea. <laughs> Been doing this uh, berry 500 years ago. So the old coffins were originally scattered from this place, but we don't know who is the first coffins that was being buried. Okay. It's uh, 500 years ago, that's the oldest uh, coffins that was been, yeah. And until now, even uh, Sagada is uh, a Christian community already. We are still doing uh, the burying in the, the cliff or... Oh, the do, you, do you still bury people there? Yes, in, yes. Instead of burying them in the graveyard there? As I told you, we both, the Christian way and we both... Oh, okay. Uh, the traditional way yes so where do you where do you keep the person like the, the the body of the person like is it there or here we have the cemetery okay the cemetery. but uh, this is still uh, open for if you want the to. community it it's up to okay to the person before he die 
if he want to be buried, then they have to respect oh, the okay. decision of okay. uh, the person. All right. So yes, yes. Alright yeah, guys, so finally on the way to the Echo Now we are in the Echo Valley actually. So we are going to the spot where you see the hanging coffins. So check out this little cave right here. See a lot of people going there. These are locals. But not locals from Sagada but Filipinos. And check out this place. We are already in the valley, right? Yes, yes. yes. So so you don't shout here. Sorry. <laughs> no, I don't want to shout. I'm just yeah. asking. I just want yeah. to know. No, 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 no. no. Basically, you, basically, my tour is like I'm touring other people from across the world. <laughs> so everything you tell them, that's what they're gonna take, <laughs> right, Daniel? You got a friend here, Saxon. <laughs> yeah, it's part of. He's a spider. No, he's part of my friend, not my friend. <laughs> I don't. I don't like spiders because my fiance don't like spiders. That's the worst thing she's afraid of. <laughs> spiders. Yeah. Wow, to discover all of the beautiful things and learn the beautiful history or culture about the people here in the Philippines, you need to go through a lot. <laughs> you either gotta climb a mountain or go down a mountain. <laughs> Yeah, we made it. We made it up here. So, Kuya, what else could we do here tomorrow? What? In Sagara, what else could I do here tomorrow? What do you mean? What can I do here tomorrow? Uh, we have a lot. We have uh, the sunrise. We have uh, caves. Waterfalls, but it's up to you whether okay. you, what you want to do tomorrow. I'll think about it later, okay? Yes. So, you'll be the one to do those tours? Uh, we'll see. Okay. We'll see. Yeah. So, we have a lot of people here. No, we talk to you. <laughs> I can ask him questions. I'll ask you. Have a lot of people here checking out the place right now. Let's check this place now. Alright, guys, so these are the hanging coffins right here. So, see them hanging right here. So, he said the very first hanging coffin was 500 years ago but it is not actually here it is in the the one down there like the one down covering the rug like no under the rocks wow 500 years ago so people were buried here in there and you are not allowed to cross this place right here to go there you cannot cross this place wow Finally here at the hanging coffin, guys. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so we are here at the famous hanging coffin, which has been preserved by the people of Sagada. And right now, the tour guy is going to explain to us more about the coffin. Okay, if you see the coffins. Alright. There are two sizes. We have the shorter one and we have the longer one. All right. Uh, the longer one is more on traditional uh, way. Uh, if you say tradition, I mean uh, Christian way, I should say. Okay. Uh, the dead person is already inside the casket or the coffins, lying. Mm -hmm. While the uh, while the shorter one, uh, it's it is more on traditional way. Uh, the body is the position of the oh, yeah the, the position of the dead person inside like is into a fetal position. position. Ah. So in I, the traditional I've way, I've never seen the person like that in yes. a coffin. Uh -huh. 
Wow. Uh, you see the uh, chair. We have chairs also. It's like you're born in a federal position and you die Something in the like same that, way, yeah. right? Okay. So, the Christian way, during the wake time, you know the wake time, uh, when the person in in the in the house during the wake time. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, instead of. Uh, oh, you mean the wake? The wake. Yeah. The wake time. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So instead, the uh, the bodies inside the coffins, it is in sitting position. That's why you can see the chair. Yay. Okay, so sitting inside the house, facing wow. the front door, uh, facing the front door so that the person or the spirit of the dead person can see all the family members or the community to go and g give the last respect to the person. Wow. Yes. So we usually buried old people in the afternoon. Okay. Old people in the afternoon. Uh, the, the old people. Okay. If we say old people, these uh, people who die old age. Yeah. Yes. So in the morning, uh, we carry first. Sorry, Greg. Like, can you can you stand here? While you are talking, I just want to be seeing the coffin. You okay? Yes. Yes. Like that. So uh, first in the morning, because as I told you, the the burial of the old people is in the afternoon okay so first in the morning the carry first the empty uh, coffins as I, to as I told you a while ago these are already done by uh, technology yeah so you can see drilled the holes yeah and then you can see steel bars yeah comparing the old and way as I told you they just look for big cracks and put in the rock yeah like the yes, one the yes, one you show us there yeah, right yeah yeah, yeah. So they installed the scaffoldings to make a step or la ladder to put up the coffins. Ah. Yes, yes. I, but, just, I just wanted to ask, like, how do they get up yes, there to yes, put the coffin there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But the carrying, they should uh, do it early in the morning because uh, we, be we have a belief in Sagada that if animal wild animal cross the pathway going to the burial site is uh, a bad sign or bad omen mm. that's why we, they have to do it early in the morning in case so that in case there are animal cross the pathway and then they have still time to look for another burial site yes yeah. yes okay way back to the house as i told you we do the funeral in the afternoon so after lunch that's the time they will take the sitting position the dead person sitting position yeah and then they bend it like this like a fetal position mm -hmm. if it's uh, hard to bend then they have to break oh yes and then of course the person know what had hap what will happen to him when he die when uh, the body's uh, his body's uh, what do you call it it's hard to to bend okay. so yes and then uh, af uh, after uh, bending the dead person then they will wrap it they, they, they will wrap the the person like that and then uh, the first to carry the dead person body is the family members because we ha have a belief that if you participate in the carrying it it can give a good luck to the pers to the person who carries, especially when uh, there's uh, what you call that a, a liquid from the dead person's body spilled in in a part of your body. We can hmm. consider it as a good luck. That's why we have to give chance to the family, because if we don't give them uh, a chance, they don't have uh, the chance to care. Yes. Because everybody want to carry, carry. yes. Yeah. And so there's the, only one. So the family have to be the one to carry to have yeah. the good luck. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yes, that, that's a belief, yeah. So, uh, then after the the family done their part, then also you, like, if, if you want to carry, then you can join. But there's only one person, oh, there's only one dead person. You have to be strong. 
<laughs> to be able to grab yeah, yeah, yeah. the yes 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 all right so uh another thing i want to ask is that standing from here we are seeing names yes or writings on mm -hmm. the coffins yes yes what's the meaning of those writings uh this those are the names of uh, the person the yeah. the names of the people the who the people who died oh uh, okay but usually these are the native name of uh, the the dead person okay when we say the native name these are the name uh, given by the elders oh, okay. because actually in sagada we have two names we have the traditional name we have the christian name oh okay. yes 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 uh, usually we uh, these names are from our uh ancestors okay yes yes wow. but uh their native uh, their native name they can also use it as a christian name or a register name oh, okay yes. yeah like like me too in africa we do have uh like i have two names james mm -hmm. success father father is the meaning of father in my dialect is gone mm -hmm. so it's kind of like a native name from my from, from my father. family yeah family. from my family sir but james is just a regular name everyone knows james yeah. success yeah. And, yes. but people get confused when i say my name is success like the few success is just a manifestation not a name but that's real that's really my name <laughs> yeah yeah it's always also the same in sagada uh, it's of course uh, these names are from your uh uh grandfather yeah all right uh Kuya, my last question i want to ask you is that has there been any incident where any of these coffins fell down mistakenly? Uh, well, that's why uh, the carrier should uh, see to it that he will not fall down the, the dead person because uh, the family or the elders will do another ceremony. Uh, ceremony, yeah. Because we, if in case the uh, the dead person fall down it's a bad bad sign bad open all right now they have to now no, knowing that these uh, coffins have been here for many years right yes, yes. and those things they are using to hold them the wood sometimes they are eating up sometimes they are very old maybe the family or everyone has done the ceremony like perfectly and installed the coffins here has there been any incident that after many years some of it fell to the to the ground uh yes uh but you know in sagada belief uh once we put the dead people in the cliff or in the cage yeah uh the family will never come to visit them anymore even though of course there are times that uh, naturally uh caused by nature like yeah. the typhoon typhoon rains. That, that's what i'm thinking yes, of yes yes uh, let it that way. Let the nature do the rest. That's oh, why okay. if you go near, yeah, there are, you can see scattered uh, coffins. I mean, uh, okay. coffins and uh, skeletons. Oh. But uh, our belief is let it that way because if you put, if you make another coffins and uh, get those uh, uh, skeleton and put it back. We believe that we, you're just disturbing the spirit yeah, of the, your the, dead relative. Uh, That's why. Uh, you yeah. It that way. So another thing you said that after burying or after putting the coffins here, the family of the person is not allowed to come and visit them. What if, what if one of the relative of that person is a tour guy or he came here on a tour or for the, or to bury another person? Uh, well, uh, way back when Sagada is not yet a tourist spot, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, this is actually. Uh, for us, uh, we don't we don't really visit anymore because we believe that if we come by, we are just disturbing uh, these uh, uh, dead people. It's just a uh, respect for oh, us. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I understand. I just I just want to learn in details. Like I want to mm -hmm. just get all of the details from you. Yes. That's all. I understand. Yeah. Yes, it, it's, it's cool. Uh, there's already excuses because. Uh, Sagada is already a tourist spot, so that's oh, that's why we cannot. Uh, but there's a restriction. Okay. Uh, we allow people to come down, but not not to get a close. Yeah, yeah, closer or 
like going up so flying, so no two ways have ever been here before uh yes yes no so you have this yes and then of course as a guide you should do also responsible for uh, the tours you're guiding yeah you yeah you just uh, tell them that it's uh, not allowed. Okay. Because, yeah. Yeah. That's 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 reasonable actually. Yeah, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we just left the Echo Valley and we are heading back up to the uh, tourism building or center right there. So it was amazing touring down here and the tour guy here. What's the name again? I forgot your name. Perry. Perry. Yeah. So that Perry here did extremely well for us. He explained a lot about the coven, the traditional, the tradition of the people here. And I asked him some questions. So hopefully you you learn a lot about the Sagada coven here before you come here. So that's it. There are a lot to do here. Tomorrow I, I might be going to the cave. Oh my God. <laughs> We are going up again. So tomorrow I might be going to the cave and show you guys another tra uh, attraction here. And I think that will be the last I'm gonna do here. And I'll head to another destination. Wow. <sighs> See you guys later. <laughs> but this was uh, been run by the waterfalls. The, for, the force of the, the waterfalls. Okay. So this is a uh, sawmill at the same time it produced uh, e electricity before during. Yes. Uh, another question I forgot to ask you like, is there a time period? Do you know of a specific time this entire Sagada region was founded? Like, what do you mean? Like, in which year or date or month? Like this place was from the Sagada, it became a place. If you if you know, I know uh, it's something very hard. Well, as I told you, if we base on because we have the American historian who settled down in Sagada and he usually live his whole life uh, writing books. It says there that uh, the first settler of Sagada settled down in Sagada 500 years ago. From this area, they come from the southern part of Sagada. Down here, where you yes, show yes, us, yes. 500 years ago. Yeah. And then move uh, uh, until the center of Sagada. If we if we date that, uh, the date today, it will fall on, let us say, 1522. If, we, if they came here 500 years ago, then that would be, they came here, the, the first people uh, settled down in Sagada uh, 1522 okay uh, one century when the spanish came mm -hmm. first in the philippines all right yes and sagada is a very beautiful town like i i personally love the town mm -hmm. it's, it's it's a bit different from ba bata and the places we went to it's yeah. big developed right yeah, it is not a bit but it's way much developed yeah, and modernized than yeah. the and bigger, places yeah natural. bigger even the uh, manawe yeah, Banawe. Yeah, even then Banawe is is more developed than yes. Banawe. Actually, the the best, uh, the good thing in Sagada is, although we are already Christianized, or even uh, they are already we are crowded with tourists. The good thing in Sagada is, we still practice our culture and mm -hmm. tradition. Oh yeah. Like as you see, we've seen the hanging coffins, and it shows that we are still doing our uh, culture and tradition. That's. The one reason, uh, that's why Sagada is still uh, a must to visit by the, because of uh, uh, we still practice our culture and tradition, although we have the church already. Okay, yeah, that's good. And uh, one reason is uh, our ancestors before, it's uh, like a traditional law that no one can uh, sell land to mm -hmm. other people yes, from yes, Sagada. Yeah, yeah. So everyone just eat, just get your land, your house. Yes, yes, yes. Well, uh, like 
For example, if some stranger uh, married in Sagada, they yeah. can uh, have a land. build their yeah. All right, let's go. But Let me find someone quick. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, but this church is actually beautiful, and I. Uh, it's my first time seeing. Okay, it's not actually my first time, but it's it's just so amazing to see the st the stones or the bricks they use to build this this church. I'm not sure how how they actually mold this. Is this just a design or it, is is it's actually a brick? Because I can see like it's not just a stone. It's really big. Wow, very beautiful church here. This is just outside of the church in Sagada. You got a little basketball court right here. Kids play basketball here. It's an open car, so it's not safe when it's raining. And you got his way right here, walking to the town proper of Sagada. Hi. I have tourists just coming in, pulling in from Manila, from other part of the Philippines, coming here to Sagada. So people who come here are not just foreigners there were a lot of filipinos or uh, many filipinos we saw down there in the echo park uh, and touring around also learning the history of sagada it's actually a very interesting place right here so this is the way going to the town proper so sagada is actually developed in the places i've been to in uh, recent time like banawe bata i don't want to mention Kambulo or pula vida because they are not um, but Sagada cannot be compared to Baguio. Baguio City is actually, <laughs> yeah, Baguio City is actually more developed than all of them. Yeah, but Sagada is like, like I mean, I'm I'm very impressed. I'm very much impressed, and I think it's underrated. And a lot of people are not talking about the development here, but it's actually cool here. It's beautiful here, and you see the road here, it's paved out here. You have this bigger building. You even have Western Unions here. You can, you know, catch up your remittance here. You have the town hall. This is the Sagada town hall right here. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was day number one here in Sagada. And it was amazing touring around there, seeing the hanging coffins. Yeah. Tomorrow is going to be another amazing day. And tomorrow I'm going to, I'm going to be taking on a different tour, a different experience coming in a different form so make sure to stay tuned it's your boss success and just before you go if you're new here make sure to smash that subscribe button if you like the video make sure to leave a like on this video share the video share the video with your loved ones your friends and everyone i'm here in sagada and i keep touring you around the philippines i love you guys and thanks for supporting always i hope to see you guys in the next one it's your boss success love you peace